So a couple of months ago, I wanted to challenge myself to see if I could turn this tiny spare bedroom in our house into a proper home theater for my family to enjoy. And I'm actually really surprised by how it turned out. Let's ramble. Hold up. Thanks, go Bob, when I pull up. They all on me like at once. Hey, what's up guys? It's great to see you all again. And if you're new here, I'm Patrick, and this is where I ramble about tech and other stuff. So yeah, if you've been watching the channel for a while, you probably know that there've been some pretty big changes in my life these past couple of years. I started this YouTube channel pretty much at the beginning of the pandemic, which I was running out of a spare bedroom, not much bigger than the one we're in now. When our twin girls were born, making a total of three daughters, it was virtually impossible to keep working out of the house. So I decided to take a leap of faith and rent a studio space in town, which turned out to be one of the best decisions I've ever made. Now with me out of the house and our little family growing, we started moving some rooms around in the house to accommodate all the girls. And we had two more rooms left on the floor above. Well, two and a half actually, but that's for another video. Anyway, one of those two rooms is a guest room and the other one, which is an exact mirror image of the guest room, was basically being used as storage space. Now I've been reviewing some projectors on the channel and while I had a little space in the studio kitchen kind of dedicated to shoot that stuff, it was not ideal. So one day I thought, wouldn't it be cool to build a little home theater style space to do these reviews? with the added benefit that my family could enjoy that space too. So I decided to clear out this space and see what we could achieve with what little space we had and decided to document the whole thing so I could share it with you guys. You know, in case you're thinking of doing something similar. So we're off to a bit of a rough start since I lost the footage of the painting process, but you know, ta-da. Anyway, I wanted to do whatever I could do to make this feel like an actual movie theater. So I ordered some red carpet tiles to lay a floor. You can keep this part surprisingly cheap by searching online for batches of leftover tile. These floor tiles are used a lot by brands to build pop-up stands at conventions and trade shows. And oftentimes they buy too many and these go back on the market for really cheap. I looked for the typical red color you'll find in a lot of movie theater floors. And because they're tiles, it is super easy to install. You just cut the outer ones to size so they align with the walls. And within a couple of hours, the floor is done. No glue, no nails, just some adhesive tape here and there. You know, we rent this house, so I try to keep any gluing and drilling to an absolute minimum. So it will be very easy to restore if we ever do decide to leave this place. An added benefit to these tiles is that they help a great deal absorbing sound. So not only will movies sound a lot better, it will also be way less noisy on the floor below. Next, I wanted to emulate the look of those light strips you usually see along the steps going up in a movie theater, you know? I got a bunch of Philips Hue light strips to run along the floorboards to recreate that look. It's also the perfect amount of light to watch a movie while still being able to see where you're going. The projector screen I already had. I just took the one I'd been using to do the reviews at the studio and brought it here measured it and put it up perfectly centered. I was considering getting a bigger one, but for a room this size, this one actually turned out to be perfect. It is motorized, which was very useful in the studio since it was placed basically in the kitchen. But in this room, we just keep it rolled out and leave it like that. Now this next part really made me nervous. The centerpiece of any home theater, the thing that really makes or breaks the space are the theater seats. At the studio, I had one single theater seat by a brand called Valencia Theater Seating that I reviewed last year or the year before that, I'm not really sure. I'll leave a link to that video down below in case you're interested. Anyway, that seat must be one of the most comfortable theater seats I've ever used. It's fully motorized, it can be put in a bunch of different positions, and it's got a bunch of little gadgets on board that make it really fun to use for us tech heads. There's only one problem with this seat, it's only one seat. So I reached out to Valencia again, told them about this project, and they were kind enough to partner up on this video by sending us a row of three seats. I can't thank them enough, and please do check out their website. Those guys are amazing, and so are their seats. The reason I was nervous is because A, I had no idea if I would be able to get these seats up to the third floor using our very narrow staircase, and B, I didn't know if it would all fit the way I had envisioned it. I mean, getting these things into the house was a challenge, but getting them up the stairs was something else. I tried to use some tools to make things easier, but in the end, nothing really worked except some good old fashioned elbow grease. How I managed to get them all up here without damaging anything, I don't know, but we got it done and I couldn't be happier. And that really was the hard part because putting these together is a breeze. They come in two parts. You simply click them together, connect the plugs and you're good to go. 
Alongside the single seat I brought from the office, the four seats look great next to each other and they fit the space perfectly. What makes these seats work so well in a small space like this is that you can place them pretty much flush up against the wall and they will still work because when you put them in one of the recline positions, they slide forward without the back of the seat hitting the wall. You can adjust the recline, the lumbar support, and the headrest individually, so anyone should be able to find the perfect position for them. And once you have, you can save that favorite position, so all you have to do next time is press a button, and there you go. Personally, I like to tilt it all the way back, with the headrest all the way up, for a super comfortable viewing experience. The armrests offer a bunch of space for your remotes, cables, maybe a blanket, whatever you want to keep in there, and there's some USB outlets as well. And of course, there's cup holders. What makes this row of seats so cool though, is the fact that the middle seat turns into a full-blown console with its own cup holders, USB ports, and some actual power outlets too. Under the headrest, there are some lights that are perfect if you quickly need some light during a movie. Valencia also sells these useful accessories like tray tables and tablet and phone stands, so you can really customize your seat. The cherry on top are the LED lights that make these seats really pop. Again, huge thank you to Valencia for sending these over and definitely check out their website. Links to everything in the description below. The projector I installed is actually the last projector I reviewed for the channel. This is the JM Go N1 Ultra and I have nothing but good things to say about this thing. The 4K laser image is fantastic and it has incredible keystone correction, which is crucial for a small room like this. I have to fire it at the screen sideways since the slanted room leaves no space to place it behind the seats. So being able to correct the angle from the side to make it look straight is crucial. The next important thing, and this is also one of the things that separates a home theater from a glorified TV room, is the audio. Being an Apple fan, I decided I wanted to run everything through a 4K Apple TV. The projector does have Android TV, but I just love the Apple TV. I think it's one of Apple's most underrated products. It's much more than just a TV box. It's actually a great hub, and it can even manage all of your audio, meaning I would only need a single Apple remote to control the entire setup. I considered using two Apple HomePods for the setup like we do in the living room, but that's not gonna cut it for a cinema audio. So after a bit of research, I landed on the Sonos Arc soundbar. Mounting it to the wall gives a really nice and clean look. I was hoping the soundbar would be enough for a small room like this, since it can basically emulate surround sound by bouncing it off the walls, but it wasn't quite what I expected. So I decided to bite the bullet and get the subwoofer and the Sonos Era 300s as well. And man, what a difference that made. This is what I had in mind when I was thinking about cinema sound. And this is where the Apple TV shines again because it delivers a lot of its content in Dolby Atmos as well as Dolby Vision, which looks and sounds absolutely beautiful. Now, the problem with these home projectors is that they often don't have a lot of ports. This one only has two HDMI ports, and if you plan to hook up your speakers, an Apple TV, and maybe one or more gaming consoles, you're gonna run into some problems. Not to mention that you would have to run a bunch of very long cables from the soundbar all the way to the back of the room to reach the projector. This HDMI switcher I found on Amazon fixes all of that. Just one single cable from the projector to the switcher, and I can hook up all of my stuff right at the soundbar, which is of course way more convenient. With everything installed, it was really starting to look and sound like a home theater. I ordered some posters of some of her favorite TV shows and movies, and of course, no room is complete without some IKEA furniture and a fake plant. But there was one thing missing, one last thing that would make this tiny home theater legit, and that would put a huge smile on our kids' faces. I had to get a popcorn machine. Putting this together was an absolute pain in the neck, but it's so cool. Watching a movie with the smell of fresh popcorn filling the room just hits different. I'm super happy how this turned out. Please do let me know in the comments what you think. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it one of these. It really does help the channel. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.